All right, what's going on, guys? Hope you're doing good. Um, Ryan Steinelson here, otherwise known as Periscope Ryan. I'm here at the uh, the Charlotte Airport and uh, have a layover, but I'm gonna spill the beans here. Okay, Raymond, what's up? Cop Becky, what's up? All right, so. Um, I'm also creating, I'm also shooting this video because I'd spent about two hours. Hey, Nush, Nushikino, what's going on? Hey guys, how's it going? Shauna? Okay, so do you guys, just give me a thumbs up really quick. Do you guys, hey Miri, what's up, I see? It's been a while, I know. Hey everyone, what's up Miri, what's going on? Thumbs up, okay. You guys want me to give you the lowdown on how, how I live streamed underwater? Because I know Mitch is not going to say anything. So, but I'm going to, I don't really, I don't, let me give it a lowdown. All right. So, and I'm going to, I want to preface this by saying this is not for the faint of heart, Lisa. Sankusi from the airport. Yes. Look at this. It's like so backed up here. It's just nuts. I'm like two hours behind. Like my flight was delayed like two hours. So, uh, Shauna. Okay. So no, just, hey, from France. Okay. So really quick. So, just no comments for just a second. I'm gonna give you guys. So here's the deal. So just for just for a little bit. So here's the deal. Um, I basically, uh, as you guys know, I mean, I, I live streamed. I did a scuba scope from Catalina Island, and um, on the actually on the way here, I flew from San Diego to Charlotte, and I'm going to Miami now. But basically, I, I created a blog post and I got all into. I found some really good uh, some really good keywords actually. For, that people are searching for. People are looking for like how to live stream underwater. I was kind of surprised. Um, so it got me kind of excited. So I'm actually creating a blog post, or I created a blog post. I wrote a long blog with videos and uh, pictures and um, the, li the video, the actual catch you know, video from that day and everything. And, uh, and I'm gonna embed this video on that post, keyword optimize it on catch, and I'm gonna get that post to rank for a bunch of different keywords. Uh, because people are searching for this stuff now. So this is really, I'm giving you guys a, a bunch of different layers of information here. One layer is, is the concept of people searching for content like live streaming now. So that's a, that's a big insight, number one. Number two though, does any, any of you guys know, do you guys, any, any of you guys think that you know like how I actually did it? Okay, so here's, so, and by the way, if you, when you see this blog post, you're gonna, you're gonna flip out at how much we did to actually make it work. So basically what we did is we took a, we took a coaxial cable. We took a coax cable and we split the end, we took, we, we peeled back the end of the cable to expose the copper wire. Hey, what's going on, Perry? And that exposed the copper wire. Now, let me just also, before I say anything, you guys have to be careful if you do this. You have to be experienced because you're, you, you literally have to be connected via a wire to a Wi-Fi source at the surface, okay? So I'm just saying that to let you guys know that, you know, you, you got to know, you, you got to be able to swim pretty good, okay? I mean, just in case that thing gets wrapped around you or something. So I just want to, like, disclose that first, okay? But basically what we did is we, we, we exposed the, um, right, I see, yeah. So what we did is we dangerous. Well, it could be dangerous, but it's, you know, I'm just I just have to say that I don't think it's dangerous. But what we did is, and, and what we found out is that the coax only transmits the signal a hundred yards or less. So um, so I think that's pretty interesting. So it only. But what we had to do is we had to, we had to literally go to a hardware store on Catalina Island and get this get this wire and, and um, civilized caveman. George Bryant actually helped me do this. Um, so he really, I mean, if it wasn't for him, I don't know, you know, we wouldn't have figured it out. But basically, we just pieced together a bunch of YouTube videos on, um, of people that had done something similar, and we basically figured it out on our own just by doing a bunch of, bunch of research. And what we did is we connected, we actually connected the, um, the one end to the phone that we brought underwater, and the other end, somebody held a phone above water that had the Wi-Fi connection, okay? So that's how it was done. And it's and it, nothing, you know, 
real sexy about it. I mean, it was like we were like literally in this hardware store buying all this stuff to make this work basically. And we had to like, you know, like piece it all together in order to actually even make the signal, in order to actually even get the signal to, to work. Live streaming on land is so last year, brah. I know, right, AJ? So anyway, so I just thought that was kind of cool. Um, the whole story behind the story is what's really, really interesting um, because we ended up meeting the guy, it's at Chet, Chet's Hardware, look it up. If you go to Google, Google Maps and you look up Chet's Hardware over on um, Catalina Island, how in the world phone wired Wi-Fi to another phone? Yes, that's exactly how we did it, I see. And if you go to the blog, it, we're actually fixing, the link got broken somehow in transit from San Diego to Charlotte, so I'm having my operations manager right now, Skip, work on it. And, um, but it's, uh, it's, the blog, it's, it's the blog post that's most recent at ryansteinelson.com. Um, and, and by the way, I've got a brand new app that I want you guys to check out. Um, if, you, if you guys want to check it out, you can go to uh, the App Store um, and, uh, and download it. It's really, really cool. Um, just just uh, do a search for Ryan Steinolfson, and uh, it's really, really cool. It's, it, I mean, it's, it's an app that you download, and whenever I stream, I can send you, like, you can get notifications and all that kind of stuff. So it, it, it allows me to connect. You can go to my YouTube channel, my Catch channel. You can connect with me on Snapchat from there. Um, yeah, so Miri, it, it is really, really cool. Um, so go download it. I'm kind of curious. I want to get some feedback from you guys to see what you think of it. Um, because we just changed all of the navigation for it. Oh, and by the way, check this out. Look at, look at behind me. Hold on. Look at the, uh, look at the, the, the airplanes, like the little model airplanes. That it, It's kind of cool. I don't know. I'll, I'll show you in a second. I'll get over there. But I got my, I got my big old, my kite right there in my bag. I had to take it off my shoulder because it's so stinking heavy. But I gotta, I actually don't have much more time, but that's basically the gist of it, guys. So that's how, if you, if you want to, um, what do you think about 3C? I like it a lot, samples. Um, I've been using it <clears throat> and I just, I just use it. Go to um, co-immunity on Facebook and look at the, uh, the 360 fly video that I just uploaded for community and check it out, brother. Um, and go to my Facebook and, uh, and hit me up on Facebook. Um, what do you call the app? The app is just my name, it's Ryan Steinolfson. It's my, it's my username that you see here. So the app, you just go to the App Store on either Google, the, either the Google App Store or the Apple app, which is really cool that, I mean, I've got an app. I mean, how many people can say they have an app? Um, so you just go to the Apple uh, App Store or the Google App Store, and then you just type in Ryan, R-Y-A-N, Steinolfson. And then when you get to the ST, you'll see Steinolfson. You don't have to figure out the spelling of my last name. Um, I'm actually going to get a, a domain that's going to forward to all of the, you know, places you'd go to to download the app. Because that's really, um, it's the same one that uh, Mark uh, Shaw at Tag, Tag Tribes has got. I, I kind of turned Damien on to uh, Mark at Tag Tribes. And um, so, you know, he, he helped Mark, uh, at Mark, Mark Shaw get one. So anyway, that's how you do it. So basically you're connected via a coaxial cable, cable to the surface to a Wi-Fi. And then at the bottom, You've got to be your phone's got to be connected to that same exact Wi-Fi, and um, so yeah. So I don't know what this guy's doing. He's like, he just kind of like came up right next to me. I don't want to hear that anyway. Um, he's great. Okay, so that's the deal. So, so you got to be connected to coaxial cable. It's to the phone that you're using. First of all, obviously, you've got to have the phone in a water-resistant mount, right? Okay. Let's do it right here. It's just, I guess he's um, so you got to have it in a water resistant mount and that on the outside of the mount, you've got to have that copper wire exposed connected to the, not the mount, but the, the case, you got to have that copper wire connected right to the case. And there's a certain part of the case that actually has, um, hello, how's it going? There's a certain part of the case. How's it going? And I don't know. Um, there's a certain part of the case that you want to put that, that copper wire on over the phone because there's a certain part of the phone that receives signal more readily. Okay. So anyway, so I hope that makes sense. Okay. My stuff's still there. That's good. Okay. 
Um, all right, guys, Brazil. Oh, so it's not plugged in anywhere. No, there's no plug. It's just, a, it's literally like, and this is one thing that Mitch did, just a touch, exactly, that's it. That's it, Icy. So go to my blog post, check it out. I, I, I literally spent like two hours. Hopefully Skip's got it up. Um, I got to go back to my, uh, my gate. I just wanted to get away because it's so stinking packed. Um, but yeah, I mean, basically, it's just a, it, it, there's no plugged in, it's not plugged in at all. Go check out the app and share the, yeah, let me know what you think. The cool thing about the app is it, like for the Action Sports Live day, um, I'm going to be doing, for the Action Sports Live, thanks, Miri. So the Action Sports Live day, so we're going to, we're literally going to create an app for the Action Sports Live day. And what's cool, sweet, thanks for sharing, yeah. We'll check it out in the blog. Okay, cool. Is that um, when people want to do their own action sports live event or like do an action sports um, uh, scope or live stream, they can sign up. They can actually like register on the calendar, and then anybody that wants to go and see the event can go to the app and see when the next action sports live event is. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That's pretty awesome, isn't it? So go check out the app, download it. Let me know what you think of it. And look at the functionality of the calendar. Your action sports app is gonna be so sick. The new Samsung, I know. It is gonna be super, super cool, isn't it? Icy, so, and I, res I respect what you're doing, Icy. You're, you're crushing it out there. And you're really, I love your, your, uh, your video stuff. So thanks for, for uh, checking my stuff out. What is it again? Well, okay, so accident, well, there's a couple things. Number one, just to recap, what I did today. So if you guys don't know who I am, let me just back up. So my name is Ryan. Um, I have, I'm a digital marketer. I own a digital marketing agency. I help live streams, I help uh, brands uh, live stream, you know, use live stream to get more customers. And uh, one thing that I talked about today was exactly how to live stream under the water. And I kind of, and so you can just kind of go back and watch the replay. Um, on that, and then I was just talking about, and that's one of the things that we're going to be doing is, is we're going to have somebody doing some underwater live streaming, you know, from either Florida or Australia or somewhere. And um, really, I'm talking to Mitch Oates about that. So hopefully, Mitch is going to be part of the day. And we're going to do a soft launch on the fifth, and then a hard launch later this month. And we're going to get a bunch of brands involved as well. So. I'm really, really excited about that. So, and this periscope is gonna, Eddie. Oh, Alan, what's up, well, dude? Okay, wait. You gotta, you seriously, you keep saying that, and I know exactly who you are when you say that because nobody else would say that. Um, seriously, we gotta get some people, like, on this Action Sports Live day. So, um, I hope that my flight is still here, guys. <laughs> yeah, I hope it's still here. Um, yeah, so if you know anybody, seriously, if you know anybody that wants to do the Action Sports Time Live, yeah, look at, all these free, look at all these people here. It's so backed up today. Out of control. Um, Yeah, it's good, it's still here. Yeah, so ActionSports.Live is basically, we're gonna have an all day event where one Action Sports guy goes after another, okay? But we're also gonna have, we're gonna be doing events all throughout the year. So um, I'm really excited about it. I think we got a really good domain. ActionSports.Live, come on, seriously? So I mean, this is something that I've been wanting to do since I, literally since I saw Periscope, you know, 10 months ago. And um, yeah, that's it. Thanks, Miri. I'm talking to Miri about helping, possibly. Maybe helping with, <clears throat> you know, being the community manager, helping run the thing, because one, you know, an event takes a lot. You've got to make sure that everybody's lined up and so on and so forth. And yes, we're gonna definitely be doing some underwater live streaming. So hopefully you guys like the scope. We talked about a lot of stuff. Um, and I, kinda, I left the cat out of the bag. Now I will tell you, there is another way to live stream. One more thing, let me just tell you guys. There's another company that makes a, a live stream, a, a, and you have to go to the blog post to see it. 
I'm going to put it on the blog post. You guys got to go there to see it. But there's a company that makes specifically a cord that connects the phone. Papa Bear, what's up? How's it going, brother? You're going to like this. There is a company. This is a secret. There's a company that makes a cord, a, a cable that connects to your phone, that connects to a GoPro. So you could live stream from your phone, from your GoPro to, through your phone underwater. Okay? And you don't have to go through all the coaxial cable, you know, like crap that I went through where we had to cut the, you know, cut the copper wire, expose it, you know, duct tape it to the outside of the, of the iPhone case, all that stuff. You don't have to do any of that because the GoPro is already water resistant and it's a cord that's already made for, made for this. Okay? No splicing. Yes, Nelson. Ha! <laughs> Yes. So all I ask, guys, is it is it because <clears throat> we we seriously busted our butts to figure this out. All I ask, Nelson, because I'm gonna I'm gonna find out I'm gonna track you down. Okay, Nelson five one nine six two Nelson Reed. Okay. All I ask is that if you write a big big long blog post about this and go and claim it for yourself, I'm gonna come and find you. All right, and I'm gonna say, dude. Give credit where credit's due, all right? And it, it's not just for me, because it's for, it's, it's, <laughs> wow. So it'll be available soon, yeah. So here's the deal. It's the, 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 the cable that I just explained to you for the GoPro is available now. You gotta go to ryansteinolfson.com and the, rate, the latest blog post that Skip's trying to fix is just put two, I just put two hours of work putting all the pictures of literally like where we're heat gun, where we're heat gunning the, um, you know the cord to to melt it down so that it so that it's watertight. I mean, like you see all the behind the scenes. I'm serious. Like it's pretty funny. The, the and this, like I said, the story behind the story is the best because we got to know Chet, and he was letting us use like you know at his hardware store. Like he was letting us use the back office, and we got to meet his wife, who's uh, you know on the on the council for you know for the Catalina Island, and I mean we it was just it was really cool. So anyway. All right, guys, I'm going to jump. I will talk to you later. Thanks for jumping on. Later. Oh, and if you like this, then share it. All right? See ya. I need to figure I can practice running courts. <laughs> running counts. Yeah, yeah. Cool stuff, Papa Bear. All right, later, dude. Later, guys.